Don't even get me started, man. <laughs> you go to Tokyo, bro, it's nonstop, bro. We're just slowly waiting and creeping on this guy to stop by my door. Hopefully he's here for me. Okay, Nava? Yes, sir. Okay, awesome, on. thank you, brother. Nation of the beach checking in. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Anyways, guys, today is a very eventful day because your boy is going to be looking for a car today. Well, not a car, I'm actually looking for a truck. So, that being said, your boy is going to be scouting around the place looking for some trucks and stuff. But the thing is, I'm looking on Craigslist, which is not like the most reliable source here, but um, that's all I have to work with right now. So, right now, I'm actually going to be looking for a truck that is around the area, which I'm a little skeptical because the guy doesn't. I asked him for his full name. I was like, yo, bro, can you give me your full name? He was like, oh, I don't really want to do it over the phone I'd rather do it in person so that right there is like okay maybe I don't know we'll see what happens Move. a lot of cars bro oh. lots of cars all right guys we're gonna look for this car man hello how can we help you today I'm Maria welcome hi nice to you. A little sketchy <laughs> <laughs> they just told us to come sit down, someone's gonna be with us. So, hey man, I'm sure about a weapon or something, bro. Word. Alright, right, guys, so uh, Kyosho did not go too bueno. They were straight up with me, so I appreciate that they were honest. They were like, yo, bro, like, straight up, like, when we say 5000 it's like a $1,000 car. I was like, alright, bet, like, say less, alright. I get you. So he was really cool about it. Uh, I think it was the fact because I told him I was a Marine. He was like, dude, just, you know, the fact that you're, you're serving our country and stuff, you know, I don't want to lie to you and stuff like that. So I was like, all right, cool. That's awesome. You know, I appreciate that. But anyways, now we're at the mall with my boy. Hey. hey we so trying to see what we can find, trying to see what we can do. Um, but yeah, just exploring. We're in Queens right now. You're back in Okinawa. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, don't say that. Oh, hey. Chinese subway. Queens. Queens is very known for Asian Asian population. Very hot. Uh, oh my god. Oh, that's perfect. Dude. So we both happen to have small feet, so he was able to get those shoes, man. Damn it. Oh, I thought you were looking I've for I've been looking for these for like mad long. Dude. I have my salute to service jersey for the uh -huh. Eagles. Hey, Eagles Super Bowl. Hey. Uh, so they match my they match my jersey. Dude, I thought he was like on the nines because he was looking for shoes for me, but he was, he was looking. Oh, I was supposed to look for shoes. <laughs> I thought that's where we were in the nine section, but shit. I said, that's funny. I'm an eight and a half, nine. So. All right, guys, so check it out. So we're here at the, the, the Nike clearance store, and your boy's Jared, right? Scooby Doo Pop. They had to come say what's up. They kept looking at me over there. I'm like, yo, bro, what's up? These guys about <laughs> beefing with me, but nah, they're cool. What's up, man? Boom, 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 boom. Sampling out the pina colada for fuego, and uh, we're gonna try it out. It smells really, really good. I love the smell. Next flavors are gonna be watermelon, pina colada, sour gummies, and sour apple. So this is the pina colada. From what I'm tasting, is it's a bit too sweet. Like I like it personally. Like I like the sweetness, but I know you guys wouldn't like this amount of sweetness. So I'm gonna contact the guys back at the manufacturers and see if we can lower down the sweetness on this one. Yeah, tomorrow we should be trying out the watermelon, and then the next day we'll try out the sour apple, and then the following day we'll try out the, the sour gummies, but for right now, pina colada is a no-go. Sailors, a lot of Marines are working out at this gym. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty, pretty easy to find. You just gotta see the haircuts. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what gives it away. And I can't Exit wait to, to get in. Ways. Can't wait to join, man. Don't even get me started, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you really want, then do it. You right. Understand? So yeah. right now I'm 28. I'm gonna be 29. I said, oh, you know what? I'm going to reserve. If you're not happy and you just feel like you're in a routine, bro, 
there's no money in it. You know, and there's, yeah. He's a really cool guy, man. I was talking to him. He was like, dude, I'm 28 years old, man. I don't know what to do with my life, you know. I was I was living in a routine, and I told him, like, hey, man, like, you got to, you got to, like, if you're living in a routine and you're not happy, dude, you got to change it up, dude. You don't settle for the norm, man. A lot of people just settle. And I, and I really appreciate the fact that he was like, you know what, man, I got tired of it. I felt like my life wasn't going anywhere, so I decided to enlist and, you know, make a small change and go reservist. And I was like, dude, that's perfect. I mean, a, a little change is better than no change at all. So, you know, really great guy, really great conversation. So as of right now, we're going to have a post-workout meal. Probably going to have some eggs. It's still morning time. So um, that being said, we're going to do that. And then hopefully our package arrives in a bit. Twenty ten, no, twenty seventeen Elantra for eleven thousand. You cannot go wrong with that. It looks beautiful inside. So this might be the new beast right here. Hopefully everything. But uh, yeah, I had to step out. Like I cannot stay at one spot for a long time because then I start like, I don't know. I, I I'm very like I need to move. So I'm going to this gas station get a protein bar really quick. The guy's working the numbers. So hopefully we can come to a compromise. The car is really nice. For 11,000, I mean, I don't think that's bad at all for a 2017 Elantra. Five foot. Okay. There you go. Number six. All right. Whoa, push to open. That's what I'm talking about. That is. Hey. All right, guys. So, got myself a monster, got myself a cliff bar, and now we're walking back to the dealership. So, I'm going to run, dude. This place is sketchy. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm by myself, so I don't want to, you know, Get mugged or something, dude. Especially with this camera. Shoot. One day, I'm gonna make this happen. Mark my words. One day, she will be mine. Insurance, man. And now Nicholas is on his way to the Marine Corps boot camp. The Marine Corps He's gonna boot have camp. fun. But I gotta tell you. You're the first Marine I've seen in I don't know how long. Hey, hey that's so all it's here. Everybody, every time I say, you're in the military? Yeah. What, what branch? Army. Okay. What branch? Navy. Oh, come on, man. Can't they bring me a Marine? I want a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got two of them today, so. Okay. We are the few. The few, the proud. <laughs> and the proud. That is correct. <laughs> so we got the car, man. Now we're in Chipotle. We're going to get some food, man. I feel good. Man, that car is dope. I'm loving it, so. Today's a good day, man. I, I, I'm so glad I got that car. All right, ladies and gents. So it is now currently 5:45 a.m. the next morning, and your boy's cooking up some toast because that's what he's best at. But anyways, guys, um, I just want to let you guys know that um, you know I truly appreciate your y'all support. Uh, it does not go unnoticed, and everything is going well right now. Tomorrow I'm gonna be checking into my unit, so I gotta get my alphas ready. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Um, so I'm gonna get my alphas ready today. I'm gonna try to do the the British PFT test if I have time, and if not, then I'll probably just do it. This weekend so definitely stay tuned for that video as well and uh, we got the launch coming out this weekend the fuego uh, shakers will be restocked so go to fuego subs and the shakers will be restocked we'll be giving them out for free with the purchase of fuego so that being said we're gonna be giving out all these shakers so um definitely stay tuned aside from that guys um so a lot of people were like hating on me the fact that i got a car that was like you know i guess a mom's car or like a gas saver dude well, first of all, like everyone's like, no, nah, you should have gotten a Camaro, you should have gotten like a badass car, a Challenger. And it's like, no, dude, like, you know, you gotta think smart, okay? Like, I'm 21 years old, you really think the insurance company is gonna give me a good rate if I get a car like that? And I'm, I'm sure a lot of 21 year olds would have been like, dude, hell yeah, like, I'll pay, I'll, I'll pay 400, 500 bucks a month for my insurance, I don't care, as long as I can, I'm getting my, my car. Well, for me, it's like, I, I think more logically, in a way, like I, I, I want to spend less and then also save, you know, money on gas. Plus, it's a four-cylinder and it's a great, you know, fuel economy car, especially out here in New York. You know, I'm gonna be driving all over the place. You know, not only am I gonna be driving here, but also back in Texas and stuff like that, road trips and stuff. So that car is definitely the great car uh, to have, and it's a four-door. So that being said, guys, sometimes you gotta think with your head a bit, you know, rather than your emotion. Because I, 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 I personally wanted a BMW or Mercedes, and I could have afforded it. I could have, you know. But I didn't because, you know, I thought to myself, you know, why don't I just wait? Because I'm going to be here for almost two years. Just stick with this car. And then eventually I'll upgrade when I go back to Texas. So that's what I did. Anyways, guys, like I said, 
we're making our toast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy these day in the life type of videos where, you know, I incorporate people and I just bring you guys along my day. So I'm going to start incorporating that a lot now that I'm in New York and I can do a lot more stuff and I can go out in town. So definitely stay tuned for the next vlog. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to comment down hashtag Fuego for this point of this video. And I truly appreciate you guys for supporting the movement. I appreciate you guys for everything and I cannot thank you guys. All right. Go out there, make your dreams come true. Like we were talking about earlier with the guy at the Uber, man. He was talking about living his life in a routine. All right, he was talking about like his life was a daily routine. Don't don't stick to a routine if you do not enjoy it, okay? Any change is a good change. So that being said, if you want to make minor adjustments to your life, then do it, all right? Don't let anyone stop you from pursuing that passion, okay? Anyways, guys, remember stay hungry, stay humble. It's your life, another Thursday, you keep doing you and go about your day. Don't listen to people in silence because you got one life for your life. Make sure it happens in the silence more about life. I am sick right now. The weather out here is killing me, and uh, yeah, but it is what it is. Anyways, I will be at the gym now, so stay tuned for the next vlog. Later, guys. Love y'all. Soy el fuego que...